be the whale who charmed West Philly with his talent and swag. Let the music diffuse all attention. There's no going back. Oh, uh, 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 yeah. All right. All right. Okay, fam. You know what it is. Listen, it's your man, VKJ, and I'm back with another video. But look, fam, listen, I was debating doing this, and I was looking at it over and over and over, and I'm like, man, and my fam was like, yeah, we want to definitely want to recap. I was like, all right. So I'm doing a recap on the first episode of Bel Air, and I tell you, yeah, Bel Air goes way harder than the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Even though this is like a reboot, but it goes way harder. So you guys, I'm going to do a recap and review on this. Definitely give me your thoughts, your opinions on everything. And yeah, we first start off with your boy Will, the new Will, right? The new Will, up-to-date Will in Philly. And, you know, we, we start hearing J. Cole with First Things First, rest in peace, right? Yeah, I know the song, and that 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 in itself got me a little hype about this, right? Because we got you know we got some hip hop joints up in there as well. So we see the backstory. Finally, we see a backstory of Will being in Philly, being with his mom, right, with his friends and everything else like that. You know, out there doing his thing, playing ball. We knew he could play ball, but. Now we're seeing him in the Philly streets, which is definitely dope and it's within itself. And we're seeing Will in his element. We never got a chance to really see Will in his Philly element, right? So shout out to everybody, all my people out there in Philly. You already know what it is. But we're seeing Will is not only a pretty good artist, but he's really good at school. Academically, he does well. He's a smart kid. And, uh, and he plays ball as well. We're finding out this Will right here, he definitely knows how to ball, right? And yeah, Will Smith back in the day, back in the end, you know, with the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Yeah, he could play ball too, but we see your boy Will 2022. Yeah, he definitely goes hard in the paint, for real, for real. And yeah, he's real nice with the ball. He's real nice at balling. And yeah, he's definitely a winner out there in Philly. So he's definitely a contender when it comes down to balling. And yeah, the people are loving it. You know, of course, his mom, the whole Philly, he's like doing his thing out there in Philly. So he had a bright future ahead of him. And yeah, this is definitely harder than the Fresh Prince. I think Will definitely got the message that once this uh, pilot was created, by the director, it's going to take a more serious side as to what really went on. And what's dope about it is, you know, he wakes up to, even though what we do is wrong, right? That's Freeway, Rockefeller, right? Jay-Z, Beanie Siegel, right? Philly all the way. And here comes Freeway as his coach giving him the ball, the championship ball, because they won the game. So that's dope within itself. Having Freeway as the coach come through, salute the Freeway, right? So, yeah, these guys definitely will. His boy, you remember his boy who was uh, who was played by Don Cheeto originally. You know, shout out to uh, my home girl Amy Veronica for bringing that up. Yeah, the original, his original boy from Philly was played by Don Cheeto in Fresh Prince. But uh, yeah, they out, they definitely celebrating. We seeing the wheelies popping and all of that. That's how they do in Philly, and they out there. They on the block celebrating. You know. And <laughs> getting that Philly cheese steak and all of that, right? And Moms is definitely proud of him. And she wants him to stay out of trouble. She wants him to stay on the straight and narrow. You know, you know how the moms do. And she's going to protect him. She's going to protect him, be there for him, and everything else like that. We're seeing, the, again, more of the backstory of how Will and his mom was in Philly. You know what I'm saying? How it was, you know, not all the way good. But it was good enough. Like, he was doing pretty well. And we see him on the block with his boy, you know, eating that Philly cheesesteak. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you know, I, I like this because they're giving us Philly within itself. 
Of course, we got the goon. We got the guy that's always going to agitate. Well, we call him the agitator, right? And he obviously is jealous of Will and letting Will know like, yeah, you know, yeah, whatever. You're going to college. And he's like, if I didn't go to juvie, you know, I'll be nicer than you. Right. <laughs> but him and his boy and the dude, dude does look like Don Cheadle. He does kind of look like Don Cheadle. But, you know, the dude is definitely trying to intimidate Will, the new Will. And he's like, yeah. I'm better than you, right? You know, there's always that one dude that always think he's better than everybody. And if there's anything going down, he got the strap, he'll pull out the strap or whatever, whatever. And they talk about playing ball. It's like unnecessary negative static, right? So, of course, Will is on some like, man, listen, but everybody watching, everybody's looking and watching, and they know Will. So, this Will is a different type of Will, man. It wasn't just in the park playing. And he got into a little scuffle or whatever. Nah, this guy got enemies. He got jealous people after him. But they still popping wheelies out there in Philly. Now, again, this agitator definitely gets underneath Will's skin. Even though his boy is like, listen, don't even worry about it. You know, he's just popping junk. But this Will is on some like, yo, my rep is everything to me. You know what I'm saying? So he definitely wants to go after this cat. Who threatened him and on some like, yo, let's play ball. Let's see who's the better man. But, you know, his boy is just like, yo, man, it's, it's not even necessary to do that. Will, this Will is like, man, my rep is everything. So his boy is like, listen, I got the strap if anything goes down. He's like, where you get that from, right? So, you know, they, they, they're showing that the streets of Philly is dangerous if you cross the wrong path. So Will goes to the park. And he sees the dude. He's like, yo, I'll play you for whatever, you know. And then we see the guy that, you know, is out there, the leader who sells the product out there and says, listen, you play him and his boy and you and your boy. And if you win, I give you two, two G's. If not, you come work for me. So Will is like, all right, let's make it happen, right? <laughs> you know, this Will is on some like, yo, let's make it happen. I know I'm nice at ball. You know, you and your boy, your boy is not going to beat me. You know what I'm saying? But his boy, you know, Will's boy is like, nah, don't do it. Don't do it. And uh, this Will is like, yo, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Calls the guy out and he's like, yo, can you give us the two, G, the two G's and 20s, right? <laughs> so, yeah, he's still the cocky Will, but this guy's a little bit more edgy, way more edgy. Than the Fresh Prince, right? This is Will Smith, 2022. So they're playing ball. Will is doing his thing, dunking on him, right? Obviously, that's that's not him. We see, you know what I'm saying? But playing ball, getting it in. And Will is nice. It's obvious. Will is definitely nice, and the crowd knows that. Him and his boy is nice. They play on the same team. So they really nice at playing ball. And yeah, it's game point. And Will is like, yo, you know I'm nice, man. You know I've always been better than you. Like, this is my city. You know, he's just popping a whole lot of junk. But it's game point, right? They about to win the game. And yeah, what does Will do and his boy? They win the game. Of course, they cheering Will on in the whole nine, right? And dude, Will did a move on him. The dude fell on the floor. <laughs> and he gave him the ball. Turn around, you know, the product dude, the dude, the, the leader, the product dude, just like, all right, man, I got to give him this money. But it's, it's obvious that the jealous goon got to do something crazy, right? So he throws a ball at Will, and and the ball bounces off of Will and hits the leader of, you know, the product guy, right? So he's like, who did that? Who did that? Did your boy do that? He's going after his boy, and it gets to the point where you know, they definitely get at his boy. Will goes and gets the strap out and everybody scuffles away, runs away. And the dude is like, yo, you better use that. Uh, yep. The police come. They uh, hem up Will. They find, you know, the strap on the floor and yeah, has his fingerprints on it. So what do they do? They lock up Will. Right. So. We seeing a much edgier side as to what's going on. He's not resisting. They're like, yeah, stop resisting. They put him in a lockup. And yeah, they got the AC running in the whole nine. So he's shivering up in there. Goons is looking at him. 
he's tearing up. You know, he's crying a little bit. And uh, the other dude is in there, too. So they, they must have arrested the other guy that was standing there as well. And they got him, too. And he's like, yo, man, those tears are not going to help you. So it's obvious that this dude, you know, because he got locked up, he's blaming Will for all of that and for the whole scuffle. Like, you know, he's coming after Will. And, yeah, Will is getting out. He don't know how. The dude is just like, yo, man, how you going to get out? You a rat. You a snitch. Whatever, whatever. And yeah, he's definitely trying to come after Will. Now, because Will is going through all this, like we know the story, right? <laughs> we know the story. You know, he got into a little fight or whatever, and his mom got scared, right? <laughs> so yeah, his mom really got scared. Like, this is serious. Like, it wasn't just a song. This is serious business, right? On the streets, any hood. Like, this is serious. You know, you get into it with some cats from the streets. And things don't go well, they're going to come, they're going to come for you. So she knows that. And of course, Uncle Phil got him out of lockup, right? But now it's like, okay, mom is serious about it. And yes, yeah, she sends him on that plane. He got first class on that plane to Bel Air, right? To Bel Air. So yeah, we thought it was going to be a taxi. You know, with, with the license plate fresh or whatever, but nah, it's not a taxi that picks up Will. Actually, they twisted it and they got Jazz picking up Will, okay? But still, it, it's all good. This is how he met Jazz. Now, remember, he knew Jazz before in Fresh Prince. But the funny part about it is, yeah, the dice is still in the mirror. <laughs> so they do have some nostalgic things in the car and in this episode from you know, the Fresh Prince, even though this is Bel Air. So Will, he sees the view. He's asking, you know, Jazz, hey, can you pull over, whatever. And, you know, Jazz is not like the Jazz that we know from Fresh Prince, right? The Jazz that we know from Fresh Prince, he was kind of like, yeah, he's kind of like a little comic relief, but he wasn't that smart. But this Jazz right here is on some like, yo, you coming to Cali, you know, don't let Cali change you because they're going to try to change you. Just be who you are, right? So Jazz rolls up to the new spot. Again, this is not the millionaire spot. This is the billionaire spot. Uncle Phil is a billionaire, right? Aunt Viv, they're billionaire. They're like, dang, you know what I'm saying? They seeing the spot like, yo. And the dude was like, I ain't know your, <laughs> your family was white, <laughs> right? Makes a joke like that. So dude gets out. Jazz gets out. Will gets out. And they pretty much meet that way. They meet that way uh, instead of him knowing them from Philly or whatever. So now we see Jeffrey, right? Jeffrey, he's not a butler in this one. Jeffrey's like the manager of the butlers. Like he runs the grounds. B. He's not like, you know, just the dude, the cooks, this, that, and the third. He's coming through on some like, yeah, listen, I'm going to take care of it. Jazz basically scams him out of $200 or whatever, but that's nothing to them, right? That's nothing to them. He wanted to charge him 150 but, uh, you know, he gave him 200 anyway. He's like, thanks for your services, right? So Jazz gives Will his car. He's like, yo, this is my car. Definitely give me a call. So now we in the new spot. We see the double staircases on the left and right side. You already know. Yeah, this is billionaire status. This is not just a millionaire. At this point, it's 2022. You got to be a billionaire at this point with this. Living in Bel Air, yeah, you definitely got to have that bread. And we see Aunt Viv. For the very first time. And yeah, I believe they got it right. I believe they got it right with, with Jeffrey. Like Jeffrey's like super cool. Jeffrey's like the super cool dude. And uh, he's like, yeah, you know, more like on some Kobe. So they give a tribute to Kobe, of course. Salute. You know, rest in peace to Kobe and the fam. And yeah, we see Will. And he's definitely impressed by this spread. And he's like, yeah, you know. It's crazy about that joint, right? That's, that's how they say it in Philly, right? That joint, that joint. Instead of joint, it'd be like that joint, right? And she's like, yeah, I miss that Philly swag, right? She's from Philly too. And that's his aunt, you know, blood related. So she's like, yeah, you know, I'm glad you're here. Sorry I couldn't pick you up. And she's really concerned. And this is the funny part that he says. He's like, yeah. And she's like, are you okay? And he says the line. He says, yeah, you know, I got into a little fight and my mom got scared. <laughs> so that's the funny part. They they dropping little nostalgic lines from, you know, Will Smith, Fresh Prince's song. We see Hillary, right? And they got Hillary right too. 
but she's like on social media. She's big on social media, YouTube and all of that. So they definitely got her up to date and current as to what's going on. But she's definitely cool. You know, I think they got it right with her. Like she's definitely finding herself the same way Hillary is trying to do a couple of things in the Fresh Prince. It's the same thing here as far as her finding her way and trying to do a couple of things. But she's good at a lot of different things. So Viv says, hey, go help Will get dressed for this event that we're having. It's like a benefit for Uncle Phil because he's running for office. And yeah, Will comes out <laughs> dressed in uh, Carlton's suit, right? But it's, uh, <laughs> she's like, yeah, Carlton didn't grow into that suit. So it fit, it fit Will perfectly. And he's like, how do I look? And she's like, yeah, Hillary, you did it again. <laughs> right? So yeah, she definitely plays a good Hillary. I like it. So they go out to the event, which is definitely a huge spread. Like it's crazy. And yeah, you know, Will is definitely impressed by everything that's going on so he sees uncle phil talking to his constituents and he runs up on uncle phil and uncle phil definitely is thrown off it's obvious but this is uncle phil right this is a different type of uncle phil he's an updated version right and yeah he's talking to the ogs he's you know what I'm saying salute to this guy right here you know i know he's been in a whole lot of films and movies and everything else like that but yeah instead of will going into why he's there you know, Uncle Phil's like, yeah, good to see you. Listen, we're going to talk later about everything. Like, he doesn't want to talk about why Will is there. So he introduces him to his, you know, constituents there. And Will's giving pounds and hugs. And <laughs> he's doing all types of stuff, right? He's, he's doing all type of handshakes. And these guys, they're not that type of dudes. You know what I'm saying? But Will is giving that, you know, that Philly swag and, you know, just being cool. He's being cool. He, Will is just being Will. Right, Will's just being Will, and we remember that. That part is very similar from the Fresh Prince, right? So he's giving them pounds and showing <laughs> these OGs how to give a pound. <laughs> and it's pretty funny because these guys obviously are not those types of dudes. You know what I'm saying? They're not built like that. So, yeah, Will is definitely making an impression upon these guys. And, yeah, Uncle Phil is happy to see his nephew. At the same time, it's going to be a whole lot of adapting that needs to take place. So, you know, um, your boy Jeffrey comes over. He's like, yeah, let's get you something to eat. And here comes Ashley, right? Rolled up on him, gave him a hug, right? Similar to the way it was in Fresh Prince. And we see Ashley. It looks like they got Ashley right, too. You know, definitely, you know, good looking young lady. And yeah, you know, they got Ashley right. It's like, listen, I'm going I'm to bring you over to get some food. And Will is not feeling the food. But she's like, yeah, you can get anything you want. Now, this is, again, very similar to the first episodes of Will being there. And I think it's cool. I think it's cool just with a little edge uh, and all of that. Right. So <laughs> Will is like, yo, chef, can you make me a Philly cheesesteak? Right. And put this and that. And he's like, yeah, I think I could do that. Right. <laughs> so, I mean, I, yeah, it's, it's very similar to Fresh Prince, which I like. So the dude, the chef is like, yeah, I can make that up. I could cook that up for you, you know. So we see like <laughs> Will is acting like he's on the block or he's in the bodega down the street in, in the corner store ordering a Philly cheesesteak. And now we enter, now enters Lisa right now. Remember, Lisa was played by uh, Nia Long in Fresh Prince, right? But there's a little twist. There's a lot of twists going on in this thing to bring it kind of current. So she's like, you know, he can make anything. He's like a five-star chef or whatever, whatever. He's like, but can he make a, uh, you know, a Philly cheesesteak? So, you know, Will is trying to charm her and a whole nine, you know, she's saying he looks good. She's saying, he's saying she looks good. You know, they kind of bouncing it back and forth. He gets the Philly cheesesteak. He's like, all right, I'm going to try it out. And she's definitely really kind of charmed by this dude. You know, she's like, yeah, He's cute. I know she's like, yeah, I think he's cute or whatever, whatever. But she doesn't know that who who he really is yet, even though he introduced himself. So he's eating the Philly cheesesteak. He's like, yo, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Will just being Will. This guy who's playing Will, he does a good job. He does a pretty good job. You know, he's not Will Smith. Nobody can really replace Will Smith. But he does a pretty good job as far as acting, right? Letting him know. Hey, the Philly cheesesteak is real good. You know, he could do his thing. And enter in now we see Carlton Banks, right? This is a different type of Carlton Banks. You know, he's like, yeah, what's Philly? 
you know, high cholesterol, da 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 da. So, yeah, he's like, hey, good to see you, Carlton. Gives him a pound or whatever. And he's like, hey, Lisa, right? And Lisa's like kind of put off a little bit. And she's like, okay, well, yeah, good to see you, Carlton. And Will is like, what's going on? He's trying to figure out what's happening with these two. Uh, but yeah, we see that Carlton definitely is definitely feeling her in one way, shape, or form. But come to find out, that's his ex-girlfriend. So that that's the twist because in the original Fresh Prince, yeah, Lisa was not, you know, Carlton's ex-girlfriend. But they put a little twist on it. And yeah, Carlton is the same Carlton that we know. He's very on some like, yeah, preppy stuff, whatever. But he's happy to see Will. And he's cool, right? He's cool for right now. He's cool for right now. <laughs> I'm going to say it like that. And uh, yeah, you know, that's his ex. And he was talking, Will was talking to Lisa, who is Carlton's ex. That's the big, that's the real big twist. Because they're going to show us how they lay things out. So yeah, Carlton and Will are getting to know each other. And yeah, you know, he's like, yeah, one day we're going to talk about why you're really here. Why you're really here. So anyway, now we go to the game room and we see Hillary, we see Ashley, we see Carlton. And, you know, they're just talking about really kind of like how they're going to bring Will into the fold with the family. You know, is he cool? Is he not cool? And Carlton's like, yeah, he's cool. You know, I have sisters, always wanted a brother, you know, and they're really talking about how they're really going to allow, you know, Will to come into the family and uh, really kind of connect with them. You know, which is which is cool. It's all good. And they're very positive about it. Hillary, she's definitely positive. Like she's whoever's playing Hillary, she's doing a really, really good job. Ashley, you know, we don't hear a lot from Ashley, but we didn't hear a lot from Ashley like before, like in the original one. She didn't talk that much. So now we got Uncle Phil. He's out there with the family. And, uh, you know, they're up there just thanking everybody for coming out. And definitely this is like a, a benefit, like, you know, a fundraiser or whatever for the campaign. And as he goes into his speech, we see that Lisa's there. That's probably her dad she's standing next to. And what he's talking about is making sure that he starts his program to make sure that inner city kids are, you know, not left in the dark and everything. And so he's going to be doing a lot of things to make sure that inner city kids get a second chance and everything else like that. Right. So events over and Uncle Phil is talking to Will and Will is just like, yeah, you know, I'm here and what's going on? And he's like, listen, you know, I'm here to help you out. I'm your uncle. There's a lot going on. We got a campaign. We got this and that. But if you're going to live in my house, got to live under my rules. And you got to know that you have a second chance here, you know. And Will is kind of off put it, but he brings up, hey, you know, because am I like a charity case or something like that? Because you got this whole program. It's like, nah, you're my nephew, you know, but we're going to make this happen. Give it a chance. We're going to make it work. So Will is upset. Like he Will is just like on some man. I gotta follow the rules. I'm in this house. Like he's not my dad because he called him son, and he's real upset. And uh, he really doesn't want to be there. And he gets a text from his boy. He gets a text from his boy, and his boy's calling him like, "Yo, yo, what's going on?" He's scared. He's like, "Man, you gotta come back to Philly because you know this guy. He's coming after you." And I think I'm next, right? He's trying to get you, but because you're not here and they, he can't find you, I think they're going to try to get at me. And he's really, really scared. And he's like, yo, you need to get back here. So Will is like, yeah, I'm going to do what I can. So Will gets Jazz, Jazz's card and he calls Jazz, right? All right, so Jazz is outside. You know, he, she got paid $200 early. He's like, hey, she want me to take you back to, to LAX, to the airport? Shoot, you got some money, you know, he there to get the bread. So he's looking and he sees Will jump over this big gate and falls down from the gate. And Will is like, yo, we got to get out of here. I got to go to LAX. I got to get back to Philly. Da, 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 da. And then we see Uncle Phil and Jeffrey pop up. And he's like, you know, who are you? He's like, I'm Jazz. Da, da, da. Jeffrey pays him off. Right. And he's like, hey, thank you. Thank you, Phil, for your money. <laughs> he was like, thank you, Phil, for your money. It's like, yeah, sir, your services are no longer needed. Jazz, you can bounce now, right? And uh, Uncle Phil's like, all right, let's go back inside. Let's talk about this, right? So, yeah, Will's not going back. And 
Basically, Uncle Phil's like, yo, what was your plan? Again, it's very similar, very similar to Fresh Prince. He's like, what was your plan when you got back to Philly? Well, you know, I was going to straighten this thing out. And, you know, I'm a man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take care of mine. He's like, you know, a real man will actually think about his decisions. And a real man, you know, will look another man in his face when he's talking to him. You know, like, you got to really, really give this an opportunity, man, because you have the best opportunity here. You have a chance to, a second chance on life. He's like, I promise you, that's my word. You stick it out. You, you, you know, you, you go into this thing and, and yeah, we're going to make this happen. I guarantee that your, your future is going to be bright. So they make a deal and Will is just like, OK, I'm going to do what I got to do. He can't make it to Philly like he said he would to his boy. And uh, he messages his boy. Now, again, this is very, very current stuff. Like, I like how this is up to date. They brought it to and, and again, this is serious. It's very, very serious for real. Like, there's no buffoonery going on here like the original show. So his mom gives him a call the next morning. And uh, she's like, how's it going? How you settling in? He's like, yeah, you know, I'm all right. And she's like, nah, that's not the, you know, West Philly, you know, king that I know, the goat that I know. Like, you know, and he's just kind of not feeling it. But she's like, yo, look around and tell me you don't want to be in a, that you're not in a better place than you was yesterday. And he's like, yeah, I am. That's facts. No cap. All that. <laughs> right. So we see him go downstairs and he slides down the banister, just like the old show. Right. <laughs> He goes and sees the family. They're all having breakfast, you know, and uh, yeah, it's not Jeffrey cooking. Jeffrey's on the side chilling. Really, we find that Hillary is the chef and she cooks really well. And she has this opportunity to, you know, get her recipe to, to some big time place. And Carlton's getting at her like, yo, is this just an idea or are you actually going to get paid? And she says something to him and she curses at him. And they're like, language, language. <laughs> now, they, we didn't need that in the first one because it was on, like, you know, national television. It was on air. So, yeah, they just like language because in this show, man, they dropping, they dropping F-bombs. They dropping all types of stuff. So this is like the realest Bel Air that we can have at this particular point in 2022. Like, if you wanted to see, like, Bel Air or Fresh Prince on another level, like, yeah, this is the show that's going to show you another level, right? So it's supposed to be like a beach party with his boy. And, you know, Uncle Phil's like, yeah, now's the time to bring Will around and introduce him to your friends. And Carlton's like, nah, nah, I'm, you know, I won't do that. And uh, Will is like, yeah, I want to jam him up. But Uncle Phil insists. So, yeah, uh, Carlton's showing him around, showing him this, showing him that, showing him different places. So he takes them to his lacrosse practice and they go to Bel Air Academy. All right. So, again, this is high school. You remember if you wa ever watch the show. Yeah, this is the top of the line educational uh, institution in high school. It's private school, of course. And uh, Carlton's just letting them know, hey, listen, just follow my lead, man. Just follow my lead because I'm kind of the man here. And Will, he ain't trying to hear all that. And Will is just like, yo, follow your lead. What are you talking about, man? Like, yeah, I ain't following your lead. So he goes to practice. He's like, what should I do? He's like, yo, just meet me in the locker rooms. So I'll introduce you to the boys, the fellas. So he's trying to find out what he's going to do. But he sees Lisa. And again, she is on a swimming scholarship. So she's practicing or whatever. And he's like, OK, let me run over here. So he's timing her while she's swimming, you know, to one end of the pool to back. And she's like, what's going on? And he's like, yeah, 22.4 seconds or whatever, whatever. And she's like, what are you doing here? He's like, yeah, I mean, you, I was timing you. So I came over and see what's going on. And she's happy about that because that's a faster time that she needs so she can go ahead and qualify and try out for like the Olympics and stuff. So she's happy about it. And she's like, Yo, why don't you come in and give me a little competition? He's like, nah, I don't do the swimming thing. So he's letting her know, hey, you know, I don't swim, basically. Basically, he does not swim. He doesn't know how to swim and he doesn't swim. So... You know, she gets out of the pool. He's like, yeah, there's a, a beach party going on. Are you going? And she's like, really? You know, Carlton's my ex. And now, you you know, you're asking me. And he's like, listen, I ain't trying to make you my girl. I'm just asking if you're going to go to the party, right? For real. And she's like, yeah, you know, I might go. So she walks away. And Will is really feeling her for real. But she, it looks like she is catching the vibe. She's catching the vibe. So now Will goes into the locker room. 
and they singing Bobby Smyrna. Now, if you know the song, there's a lot of N-words in that song. And we got these white dudes saying the N-word. There's one white dude, he's up on up on the uh, up there singing a song, and he's like, yo, Will's like, yo, stop that, yo, watch your mouth, watch your mouth. And he's like, what if I don't? And Will's like, yo, I'm going to make you watch your mouth, right? Because he shouldn't be saying the N-word at all. So Carlton jumps in between, and he's like, yo, stop, stop, stop. And then he gets in Will's face like, yo, man, you bugging, da 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 And Will is just like, what? Like, are you serious, B? Like, these cats, should, none of them should be saying the N-word. And you co-signing this right now? So he's like letting Carlton know, like, this ain't cool. This is not cool at all. And then Carlton ain't saying nothing. And he's like, yo, man, you a sucker, man. You a sucker like that, man. And they're just standing there. And again, Carlton, he comes from a whole different background. And then they get into it. They go back to the house. And he's like, yo, they should not be saying the N-word at all, man. That's not, they're not part of our culture. And Carlton's like, listen, you know, these rappers are making songs with the N-word in it. And they sell it to these white kids. You think they're not going to say the words? He's like, yo, man, you don't understand. Like, you're not part of the culture. And this, that, and the Thursday. Going back and forth. Of course, Aunt Viv comes in there. And she's like, is everything okay? What's going on? Carlton's like, nah, we're just having a spirited conversation, right? <laughs> they don't want to get into it in front of, you know, Aunt Viv. So he's like, yeah, whatever. It's a spirited conversation. So they really don't agree. Carlton, he definitely has no idea of the culture, of what that word means. And he's just like, it, the word doesn't mean anything to him. But of course, it means a lot to all of us, right? We don't want no other race saying that N-word. So Aunt Viv is like, yo, listen, you and Carlton got to work that thing out. You know, somehow, some way, listen, you're not the only one that has to adapt around here. We all have to adapt. So it's on you what you want to do. So Will decides to go in there to see Carlton. And Carlton is putting something up his nose. I'll just say that. And he's like, what are you doing? You should knock before you come in. He's like, what are you going to do? Tell on me. And Will's like, nah, I'm not a snitch, man. He's like, yo, listen, I came in here just so we can work things out. We don't have to be cool. We just like that. We just have to act like we cool. So Aunt Viv and Uncle Phil, you know, will understand that, you know, we're not beefing. And then they'll be cool with me being able to go on my own instead of you dragging me around Bel Air. So they're like, OK, cool. So they go to the party, the beach party. It's like, all right, we're going to be cool. We're going to try this out. Stick with the plan. You go your way. I go my way. But we're going to act like we cool. All right. It's like, welcome to L.A. Right. So. You know, it's all good. It's a party going on. Will's chilling. And then Lisa comes over to Will on some like, yeah, you know, let's celebrate. He's like, what are we celebrating? She's like, yeah, I'm celebrating because, you know, now I could try for the Olympics. This, that, and the third. But all I got to do is train and not get distracted. So Will is like, yo, how about, you know, I'll give you a little bit of distraction. Of course, she's feeling that, you know, she's feeling Will all the way. So they go to like the bonfire, or whatever, they go on the beach. And she's just like, yo, you thought I really was like a rich kid? And he's like, yeah, well, you know, you go to the rich kid's school, you know, you, you hang with the rich kids. And she's like, no, I'm here on a swimming scholarship. And I, you know, it, they let me know every single day I got to work harder and harder on that. Da, 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 right. So now we shoot over and we see Carlton. He's putting more stuff up his nose. I mean, this guy has a problem. Carlton has a problem. This is not the Carlton we know. But his boy's just like, yeah, man, it looks like, you know, you are just kind of playing it cool, but she's moved on. And you like a sucker, right? So he's, Carlton's thinking about that. Meanwhile, Will is dancing with Lisa. They're having a good time. They're getting a little close, right? So Carlton's thinking about what his boy is saying. He turns around and he sees, yeah, Will and his ex, Lisa, kissing at the party. It's obvious they got real close. And your boy, Carlton, he is enraged. Like, what the? So he runs over there and he pushes Will <laughs> into the pool. Right now, remember, Will can't swim. Will's not. He said, I don't do the swimming thing. Right. Will can't swim. So he falls in there. And Lisa turns around like, what the hell are you doing? She said, she ain't say hell, but she said, what the, what are you doing? You know, and he's like, what are you doing? You know, messing with my cousin, you know, you my ex, you trying to make me jealous. So Will is in the pool and he's falling. He's just going down and down. He is not floating back up. Again, we know he does not know how to swim. It's obvious that he made the point 
But he's falling down and he's, we see like where the throne is, right? And it's very symbolic. He's just falling down. He's just going down to the bottom. We see his crown rising up, right? So, you know, it's, it's obvious that he's not the king right now. He's not the prince right now. So Lisa goes in, basically gets him out of the pool, saves him from drowning or whatever. And she's like, are you okay? Are you okay? Carlton's like, he's all right. He's just acting like that because he wants attention. Will is furious, right? He's furious. He's looking at Carlton. You know, white dude rolls over to him. He's like, yo, be cool. Bam. Knock white dude down. He's down, right? <laughs> he's down on the ground. Then he rolls over to Carlton. And Carlton's just standing there like, yeah, what you going to do? And the next thing you know, <laughs> bam, <laughs> the show is now over, right? So that's it. Like, boom, knocked him down. So this is the end of episode one of Bel Air Recap and Review. Guys, let me know your thoughts, your theories. Is this show, do you think this show goes hard? Do you think this show is worth doing more recaps and reviews? Because there's two other episodes that they put out there, already watched them. Let me know if you want to see more recaps and reviews on Bel Air. I believe it goes hard. Philly represented. Uh, yeah, there's a whole lot more going on in episode two and three. So let me know your thoughts. If I should continue, you know, we'll do that just for you. So again, you know what it is. It's your man, Faye KJ. And until next time, salute.